Hey guys, how y'all doing? It's uh, December 26th, the day after Christmas. I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas. Uh, and I hope y'all have a Happy New Year. I hope y'all's holidays were good. And uh, on a little service call, warmed up here in Louisiana. Got us an Armstrong here. And uh, I've worked on this unit before. Put a fan motor on it a couple years ago. And uh, I just heard a call for cool. It's crazy over here in Louisiana. It's it's cold and it's hot, but it, it's it's actually pretty warm over here today. People are using their air conditioning, and uh, he's got the breaker off because he said it was making a funny noise and stuff like that. So I'm gonna get this back door off of it, and uh, we're gonna see what's going on. Okay, well as you can see, we're changing out a condenser fan motor. Um, got a bunch of oil right here. I don't know how well that's coming up on camera or not compared to that I thought we had a leak but my little gauge here shows we got plenty of pressure now that fan it could have come from that motor throwing some oil and I also found where this thing this is not a heat pump either looks like a little you know line temperature sensor and it's full of oil so but other than that you know the charge we, you know that's about right for the temperature it is out here so and like i said you could see this right here it could have come from the motor that's full of oil so i'm gonna this is a uh motor i mean this is one of my neighbor's uh, houses up the road this is a motor i had laying around the shop it's a fast go I didn't really want to put it on for him because it's been around the shop and I kind of did them a favor they were in a bind it's a two-speed fan motor there's no reason for a two-speed to be on here but it was on a weekend I remember this now they were in a bind and I had to get them out of a bind so the motor didn't last that long I'm gonna put a good motor on here today and they should be fine so I'm gonna go grab a motor out the truck. Oh, and by the way, this motor calls for like 1.8 amps. It's pulling five, so and spinning real slow. Capacitor's good. Checked it, and uh, so I'm gonna put them a new motor on here, and they should be fine. All right, we got our new fan motor in place. It's a Century or A.O. Smith, whatever they call themselves now. Four in one, my favorite motor. I've never had no trouble with them, and uh, I've got it. All the wires poked out um i'm gonna see if this it calls for a 40 on the hermetic side so i'm gonna see if i got a and this fan motor calls for a 7.5 so i'm gonna see if i have a 40 plus 7.5 if i do i'm just gonna eliminate this wire this brown wire with the white stripe and use a solid brown if not i'll have to use a separate 7.5 microfarad capacitor but i'm gonna try to avoid doing that so let me go walk to the truck and see if i've got the right capacitor and uh We'll fire this baby up. All right, the closest thing I had on the truck was a 45 plus 7.5, which I'm fine with putting five extra on the compressor. Uh, I'm sure somebody here on YouTube is going to give me grief about it, about doing that, but I don't care because it will not hurt a damn thing. Um, it's always better to go higher than lower, and I plus I don't have a single 7.5, which is another reason why I'm doing this. Um, and I'd rather do it this way with one capacitor versus two but had I had a single 7.5 I would have put that and left the 40 but I'm telling you that little five extra on uh, on the compressor is not gonna hurt it one bit so um, I'm gonna go ahead and wire this thing up and then we'll start her up all right so we got the single brown wire going to fan this red one jumps from the contactor to common. I've got the white lead off the fan motor going to the common on the capacitor. This yellow is a hermetic. And that should do it. All right. The old Armstrong is up and running. She's alive, running well. Much smoother than what it was from that, uh, that old Fasco motor over there. I'm not a big fan of Fasco motors, but that, like I said, that's all I had at the time. 
But uh, I've got this new Century, or A.O. Smith on there, and she's running real smooth. Little arm strong. And uh, I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. And I hope you all have a Happy New Year. And I want to tell you guys that I got the best Christmas present, I think, of all this year. Look at me, honey. Me and my wife just found out that we're going to be mom and dad. So, that's our Christmas present. Yep, we're having a little boy. So, until next time, I hope you all have a happy new year. I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you guys on the next one.